Hello and welcome to another series of our Java tutorials. Today we are going to look at the Fibonacci series with the help of for loop. What actually is Fibonacci series? It is a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers. For instance, 0, let's say 0 and 1. So the next number will be 0 plus 1, which will be 1. And then 1 plus 1, which will be 2. And then 1 plus 2, which will be 3, and so on and so forth. So what is so magical about Fibonacci numbers? Actually, Fibonacci num numbers appear in so many contexts of our lives and surroundings. For instance, the number of petals in a flower, the seeds of a flower, paintings, even the beauty of our human face is not left behind. It's based on a golden ratio whose ninth power forms the ninth Fibonacci number. Now let's see how we can write a simple code to print out Fibonacci numbers. Uh, so we will do this. Let's create a method. Uh, actually, we can do it on the main method as well, but I just like doing it. Uh, creating a new method so that so that we can call the method and you can see how to separate like the main method and other methods so let's say fib and then uh, then we create uh, so so we will need our first two numbers like zero and one so we, we have to create a variable called the first number and uh, another one called second number so first number let's say we start at zero and then the second number so it will be of type int so second number equals to one all right and then we need to, to print out this the first and the second number so let's see this out okay in fact let's do the print so that we can see all the numbers okay so so we print the first number which is this one and then we add a space we need a space in between and then add the second number after doing that uh, can i we have to use a for loop now in order to, to loop through the numbers from uh if you need a fibonacci of 10 0 to 10 then you loop you loop through those numbers up to 10 so we say f 4 and then int we create a variable called i of type int and then since we already uh, printed the first two numbers which is 0 and 1 so the, the third number will be will be 2 so to be i is less than let's say we need up to 20 numbers okay so 20 as long as it's less than 20 we want our, our loop to continue and then we increment by one so it will be i plus plus and then the next logic is uh, to create another variable that will hold our third number so we say in and then we call it let's say third number and as you can see with the way i'm naming my variables i'm giving it like the real numbers because you want somebody who will read your code to be able to understand what I mean okay so second number so second number so our third number uh, let me demonstrate it here so the first one is zero as we've determined from there and then the second one is one the third one will be zero plus one which will be two and that's what we're doing here so we are saying first number and second number we get the third number and then we want to print out the third number here so we'll say sys out and then i will also do the print so it will be like this okay and then so we will need a space between the second and the third so we put a space here and then plus so the third number that's the third number all right and then now the next logic is to to say like uh, first number 
which is this one equals to our second number which is this one uh, is equal to our third number and so on and so forth so our third number will be equal to the, the uh, addition of the second and the third number so like that and then the, the, the logic is is determined now so the loop will continue for as long as it our our variable here which is holding our um, the numbers it's looping through it's less than 20. so after doing that the next thing we need to do all this is our method and this is our main method so we will call this method in our main method so we create a, an instance of our class like always and then fib x uh, okay, x equals to new, and then and then the next thing is just call this method here. So down dot fib, and then save it and run it. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how you create the Fibonacci series. If you add this zero plus one 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 plus one two two plus two three. And so on and so forth um, to the nth number thank you so much guys i'll see you next time